Associate in uh, National Academy of Medicine and uh, the Vice President uh, Marcus. And uh, we've been discussing uh, <coughs> the role of our academy. And I think the main question for most of the academies is to define what do they exist for? Uh, what are their mission? What are their vision? Most probably, uh, all of the academies, or most of them, have the same uh, perception of mission and vision. Uh, the point is how to do uh, what the academies, what the academies think they have to do. So some of, of the academies I could realize during these few days, uh, they are ahead of others. They're doing things that others are still uh, thinking about. And uh, uh, an experience could be shared, and uh, those who are still in the mid of the road could learn from the others who have done, which have done some more. So my suggestion, practically, is uh, to have in each of our sites a direct link uh, to other academy sites, and maybe to construct, to build. Uh, page in each of the sites uh, dedicated to uh, uh, the integration of the academies. So everybody from each academy who wants to uh, write something about or have some thoughts about integration and whatever is happening is going up, is going to Madrid, so what's going to happen there, you can share with us what happened there after. So I think uh, uh, this sort of initial integration through a site uh, will be very useful for for all of uh, all of us. Uh, I have to mention that education is an extremely important uh, point. Sure, it is. Uh, but maybe it's not the one most important for some of the candidates. So uh, we have to discuss and be open to accept that uh, the the target uh, is different from uh, one country to the other. But we have to discuss it, even to understand better what should be our uh, own, own goals. Thank you for the opportunity. Yeah, I completely agree with, with that, what the role said, that we must keep in touch. But I want to stress one point that to me is really absolutely essential, is that the we get in touch and we discuss with a common goal. And this goal should be to define as was discussed. I wasn't unaware of this discussion in the IAE meeting. To define a common project for all of the academies. I think this is absolutely central. Because designing the project will be a way of all the academies interact. And then implementing the project as a second phase would be even more efficient in making uh, an interaction, in constructing an interaction with all the academies. So, and this is not so difficult to define. Like uh, uh, when Pablo said, health education, which is certainly very important, but this is a broad subject. So this could be sort of defined in uh, different, uh, let's say, specific action to reach health education, like uh, an action in uh, uh, school children, in the elementary school, mm -hmm. for educating them for an anti-smoking sort of perception of the world. This could be a one. Or a community transformation program diet or in exercises. So we can define not so, uh, let's say, large uh, uh, project like health education, but more specific type of actions that would be feasible to design projects and to implement, and to, or, or at least to try to implement. So I'm reinforcing very much the necessity of a quick definition of this common project so that we don't lose the, the will 
of interacting that has been uh, created in this meeting for sure. Yes. Well, I think I can speak from here. I think that the first thing that we need to do is assess the region, not from the standpoint of what the academies are, but what are the health issues, the health problems, the health initiatives that are going on. And then think how we as an academy can judge, contribute, and say judge critically. There is PACO that has a significant impact on what happens in the health. And there's very little impact of, of the positions of the academy at PACO. There is a advisory body at PAHO, but there's no participation of the academies, maybe individuals participate. But if we're looking towards leverage in having an impact, we cannot be a fifth or a sixth or a tenth wheel. We have to see what are the movers, what are things that are moving. There is a position paper written by PAHO every few years. Perhaps we should judge it. Have they accomplished their goals? Are they doing the right things? What are they failing to do? What they could do better? Because that is where the thinking of the academies can contribute. Uh, I'm not sure how many of you know the Brazil series of uh, The Lancet. Uh, I was surprised, but I, I saw very few physicians, maybe public health people, they published the last 30 years of health in Brazil. I'm not sure if, if you have read the five papers. I was asked to write an editorial for that. But you see, position papers that actually provide updated information on what are the vital issues is very relevant that they come from the academy because otherwise, and I say I don't feel old and I don't see very much old people here from a spirit, but it appears as something that is very formal, but not attached, not linked to the actions. So I think that whatever we do, we need to link up better with what are the active issues and not try to invent. Eventually we can contribute creatively. But the first thing is to take note of what's going on. And, and just like the, we don't need to invent it, the US National Academy has every year meetings on hot issues for both US and global. What are the hot issues that we need to debate in the region? Where are we doing good and where are we doing the wrong things? And what is the position of the academies and how we will contribute? And I, I think if we don't do that part, we will be, maybe we'll have more money, but we will not see, we will not be actors in the field. And I think this is not about getting the money first. You really need to have a strategic plan that translates the wish I see here. But taking the wish to an action plan requires cohesiveness, requires uh, common goals, requires a dialogue, and, and choices. Choices need to be made. We cannot be everything covering all fields and trying to have an impact in all areas. <coughs> we have time for one or two more questions before I gave the... Thanks, Mr. Chairman. Um, before I make my comment, I would just like to finally say again, on behalf of the Caribbean Academy of Sciences, thanks to the Brazilian Academy of Sciences, um, to, the, uh, to the Regional Academy of Sciences, and to the Brazilian Academy of Medical Sciences for inviting us to this meeting. Um, and my, my concern at the moment is that I think certainly we in the Caribbean Academy of Sciences are, we have not necessarily seen medical sciences as part of our main function. We are funct structured slightly differently. So while I think it would be good to have a common project, I think we have to think carefully to make sure that all academies would be able to participate in this common project the way that it is selected. 
but I think going back to the, the question of what is the role of the academies, I think that there's much to be gained by doing a careful analysis of that. I believe it is correct, certainly in the case of, of my region, that governments spend a tremendous amount of money at came to have projects assessed by experts and pay them large sums of money to do this. If the, academy of, the academies of science using a single umbrella or individually are able to show to the government that they have the capacity to, to do this kind of analysis, part of the business of raising funds will become easy because you could charge a fraction of what they pay to, to these experts to do these analyses and we can do it cheaper and we can do it in a non-political way which is usually what they want. So I'm just suggesting that when we think about how we're going to sell ourselves that the umbrella body should begin to have some um, statement that smaller academies that are now emerging can use this same statement in their efforts when they deal with the government to say this is what we can do their dollars and cents can be put to this because you can look at the last number of projects that were assessed in Brazil see how much the government spent and how much could be saved if it was done by the academy and this could be done by smaller academies as well and I think that that would be a way of trying to tackle the financing of the academies. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, now I will leave the opportunity to the members of the panel to make some comments if they want. Alvaro? Yeah. I just want to say that I support very strongly Marcela what you said. Uh, we have to strengthen our cooperation through a common project, and I will go further, a common research project. Because we all hear now the night synthesis along with the wind were at the result of a common research project in which take part most of us, most of us, and an organization should be the center of a agglutination for the future. And in this respect, I think that I will first ask the Dr. Bryce, when are we expecting to have the report of this meeting to devise a, around these conclusions a common project. Pedro, Pedro, do you want to make our, there is a question? No. No, no, the question is already closed. It's for the table to give the last comment. The only thing that I would like to, to say is that uh, think about it think about it we have uh, some experience in successful functioning of uh, programs after we decide to join efforts with the other academies in the region and uh, let us know if you are willing to participate in this this uh, program on science education. Let me tell you something. We're very busy. We are very busy. So the idea of health education, of course we have to decide what part of health education we're going to choose. But uh, the idea of health education was that uh, we could make use of an interface between the interests of the two sides. But uh, if this is not the case, okay, let us know what is your interest and we will decide if we can, we can uh, come with you. But if you do the effort for uh, regional uh, work, 
I think you don't need us. I mean, you can you can do the the programs by yourself. We, of course, uh, are willing to to work with you. Joe. Yep. Just very helpful conversation. Uh, two points, I guess. I would I would raise a question on the project. I think evidence you can you can create evidence, which is sort of the implication of doing collaborative research. Or you can use evidence that exists, I think, and perhaps take it into a stage of testing a program measure and, and policy. So I think the whole spectrum is a possibility here um, in terms of the of joint working. I guess the thing that I that always puzzles me. Um, is why there seems to be rather, an, what I consider a rather artificial interface, uh, if you will, not so much Chinese wall even, between health and science. Um, it just seems so um, dysfunctional from a societal point of view. And so, you know, I sort of, when the idea of a health curriculum comes up, I think the question is, is it health in science curriculum, not health and science? Why is it one or the other? And I think the obligation, one of the, issues I see in the United States is health me, and to most people means medical care. And as soon as health is limited to medical care, the thinking is limited to the jobs of the medical professional, the clinician, or the clinical researcher. And I think what we've heard the last day and a half is that health is a much broader, you know, depends on a much broader set of issues and influences, science being a very important one. So it seems to me that, that uh, while there will be many things that we'll want to do on our own, this issue of of the, health, the medical academies linking across governmental agencies, across you know non-governmental agencies, and with our science colleagues, is, is really an obligation as far as the kind of service that I think I've heard everyone wants academies the role they want them to play in their countries. Yeah, I believe so. That the, 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 there are so uh, many aspects, the responsibility of, of the health science that uh, is so implication of the whole society's socio-economical problems that affect uh, health. So I, I, I agree with you. But uh, I believe I, I, we need to be very practical. And for me, uh, one thing is important. Uh, the network needs to, to uh, be uh, implemented. And to implement quite quickly the uh, collaboration of the animals is important. This is the problem. Uh, then we can go along. Uh, we can have all, all, all kinds of projects in our, our network of, of medicine. Uh, each network will maintain its own individuality. What I am proposing is there is a red network of, uh, of family of AB, it's our family, AB, IMP, we are all from the same family, that is working quite well and they have secretary working well, why not use this in the beginning? And then if you be, became strong, you can do anything, you know? So, uh, this for me is very important, to be practical, to be effective, and, and to make this thing happen, you know? So, so it, it was my pleasure to, to, to have this opportunity to, to share this, uh, this section with so many friends and important people. And now it's my pleasure to give the floor to our president of the National Academy of Science, Mark Moraes, that will close not only the session, but also this meeting here. Please, Mark. Thank you. As, as Professor Krivi said last night during the dinner, I'm two ways to close the meeting. <laughs> the short one is thank you. I will take the long one. The long one is thank you very much. It was a wonderful experience. Let's close the meeting. Yeah.